My job? I'm a supervisor and air traffic controller. I supervise a number of controllers at a ARTCC. I've been at this FAA position for about 15 years. There are a number of incidents that involve unknown tracks and pilot sightings. As mentioned previously, these cases of pilot sightings of unknown aerial phenomenon date back as early as World War II. Foo Fighters, Arnold Case, case of Thomas Mantell, and many others. From the beginning of the modern age, some of the most reliable sighting reports have come from pilots. With the rigid regulations for flight qualification required for private, commercial, and military flight, they must have keen eyes to focus on the skies above and around them. The crew of an Army National Guard helicopter experienced an unusual encounter with the UFO. The object apparently, briefly, interrupted the flight controls of the aircraft. These incidents were not limited to the United States. A pilot of an Iranian fighter jet had a dogfight with an unknown object. His flight controls were also affected. On a warm summer day in June 1982, the crew of a brand new Gulfstream II was flying the corporate jet from Portland to Phoenix. They were carrying a group of corporate executives. Midway to the destination, they were notified by the ATC that unknown traffic was in their flight path. Flight 118, we have unknown traffic approaching your position from the north of the east. Flight 118, maintain your flight level. Control to 118. There were two important cases that were investigated by a founding Cupid member, Cynthia Young. The flight crew of Western National Flight 1165 was involved in one of the hottest cases, in my opinion, that involved pilots. The story takes place on a warm summer afternoon in 1986, in the skies just off the coast of the Oregon-California border. A Western National flight was en route to San Francisco from Seattle. It was on final approach and was being vectored by air traffic control. At that instance, approach control noticed something unusual on radar. An unidentified target was flying into the flight path of the airliners. Two military interceptors are sent up to investigate the unknown track. They tried gaining on it but never could. The object disappeared off radar and the pilots lost sight of it. They performed a sweep of the area before returning to base. This incident occurred up north of Bedford back in 1986. Hours later, the object reappears. An official from the local National Guard detachment stated that a pilot of a F-4 Phantom out of McQuaid Air Force Base and his wingman were on a routine patrol near the town of Bedford. The flight controllers vector the jets toward the object. As the jets moved closer to the unknown object, the wingman had to leave the pursuit. The pilot continued pursuing the unknown object. Others in the control room were watching the jet move in on the UFO. As the jet closes, the pilot radios in that he has a clear description of the object. Before he can describe it, the radio goes dead. Something strange and tragic occurs. The UFO and the fighter disappear off the radar completely. The controllers might have thought that it was some sort of mid-air collision. Janet Raphael talked about how she was very skeptical at the time and how further information from several different sources years later confirmed some of the events in the timeline. Well, the reason we like this case is because it has all elements. You have both civilian and military eyewitnesses from a wide area and none of them are related to each other. 